Hello dear viewers, uh, as we have already talked about the drugs acting on the gastrointestinal tract. So uh, today our topic is antiemetic classification. So antiemetic uh, drugs can be classified into different categories that is anticholinergic, uh, H1 antihistamines, neuroleptic drugs and we have already discussed dopamine antagonists, serotonin receptor antagonists, adjuvant antiemetics and substance B. Uh, now what are antiemetics? So antiemetics are those drugs which are used to prevent and relieve the nausea and vomitings. Now come toward the different pharmacological actions of antihistamines so it can interrupt the visceral effect pathways which stimulate the nausea and vomiting. So in visceral pathway the sensory impulses are conducted from organ to brains. Antiemetic drugs work antagonist to dopamines, histamines, serotonin and acetylcholines. Uh, dopamine uh, or you can say dopamine, uh, histamine uh, serotonins and acetylcholines are neurotransmitters which stimulate the reflexes centered in the brain for vomiting, uh, relax the abdomen and, and diaphragmatic muscles or you can say the muscles of the diaphragm. Uh, then H1 uh, antihistamines, H1 antihistamine it can affect the vestibulocochlears or vestibular pathway and the vomiting centers. Yeah, as we know that uh, all these drugs, so uh, these are the clinical indications. So most of them they are used against vomiting which is due to motion sickness or side effect or you can say the side effect of OPI drugs and vomiting due to pregnancy. For example, uh, that is uh, uh, cyclizines, uh, which is available in a trade names by um, in a market, medazine and then maclozine, cenarizines, and dipene hydramine and dimine hydrinate, that is gravinate and then hydrogenes. Uh, the side effects which are reported, so that is sedation and, drow and drowsiness. Uh, anticholinergics uh, are those drugs which can depress the conduction in the vestibulocochlear vestibular uh, pathway toward reflex center in the brain. For example, hyoscine, which is available in a market by trade name Bascopan, and dicyclomine that is available in a, by, uh, is available in a market by trade name um, Blascolex and Promethazine, Zeomines, and then scopolamine antimuscarinic drugs. Uh, then uh, neuroleptic drugs, so neuroleptic drugs, uh, the actual mechanism of action of neuroleptic drugs, so they can uh, act by blocking the dopamines, uh, two receptors and the chemoreceptor triggers on CTZ. The two receptors, they are located in CTZ parts of reflex center in the brain and responses to dopamine release from the neuroending ending due to irritation of the GUT. Uh, the clinical indications of a neuroleptic drug, so it is used in the treatment of gastroenteritis, uh, nausea, vomitings, migraine, liver disease, morning sickness and hyperemesis, gravidarums and you can say vomiting induced by chemo and radiation therapy. For example, you can say chlorpromazines, uh, trifluorofirazines and you can say fluorofirazines uh, and fluorofirazines. Uh, phenazines and haloperidols and trifluoferidols. Uh, then dopamine antagonists are prokinetic, which is prokinetic drug and dopamine antagonists are prokinetic. These are the agents which can block the dopamine 2 receptor and the chemoreceptor trigger zones. CTZ and these drugs promote JT mortality and enhance the gastric empty. The clinical indications are gastro, it is in the treatment of gastroesophageal reflux disease guard that prevent a positive, you can say post operative nausea and vomiting. The side effects which are reported, it is muscle twitching, slow moment, and then tremor plus abnormal shaking of the body and hypertensions. The answer is 30 minutes to 1 hour oral and 10 to 15 minutes IM and 3 minutes IV. So contra, these drugs are contraindicated in GI when there is gastrointestinal hemorrhage, mechanical obstruction, blockage in small and large intestine. For example, metoclopramide.